Hey guys, this is Sean Sandridge and I am back for what? I don't know what and I don't even know why, but I'm back for a review of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season nine, episode 15, lay it all on the table. What did I just watch? What did I just watch? Sorry for the lighting, I'm in another part of my living room that you haven't seen and I tried to get the lighting up to par but it's just not good lighting so uh, I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about this episode but we're gonna talk about it so it starts with Sheree uh, Cynthia and Kenya over at Candy's house and they're recapping about what happened at the glamping trip and of course uh, Portia is over at Lauren's house and they are all coming up with um, their own versions of what happened. So I just want to know why is it the bone carrier has not dropped the bone about Por about Phaedra. Now she says in her confessional that she doesn't want to be the one to do it. Which one is it Sheree? Are you, I, are you going to fully accept and embrace being the bone carrier and just just drop bones be the bone slayer or are you picking and choosing are you cherry picking the bones that's what i want to know because phaedra seemed to have gotten out of this and she says she doesn't want to be the one however you have no problems with laying everything out on the table so why haven't you been calling out uh phaedra what's going on with that Okay, so of course we talk about the whole issue about um, Portia wanting candy and uh, <laughs> let's just let's 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 just come out with one of those um, uh, Andy's polls. Who do you believe? Do you? Are you on Team Candy or are you on Team Portia? Now, by all accounts, and Portia even admits that Candy was stone cold sober and Portia wants to blame it on the Henny. Even though you're 35, you should be able to know how to handle your liquor, but okay. So who do you believe? Do you believe the sober one who was there and who has a very good account of what may have transpired because they were sober or are you going to believe this person who says i don't know that's probably true who is saying blame it on the henny whose side are you on so put it down in the comment section of who do you believe so of course here is where it 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 goes left um it is brought out oh by the way shamia is there now shamia is porsche's best friend They've been friends for 10 years. And of course, she has been loyal to Portia, although it doesn't seem like Portia's been loyal to her. But uh, Shamia's with uh, Cynthia and Kenya and Sheree over at Candy's house. And the accusation is going out that Todd was going to drug Portia and Shamia and bring them back to this dungeon, the sex dungeon. Now, it was all fun and games about this sugar wall gate and, you know, the sex dungeon thing. And did you say you were gonna do this to me or did you say you wasn't gonna do this to me? That, that was all well and good. But then when you start talking about alleged criminal activity, that brings a whole other dark side to things. So, you know, um, Shamia kind of concurred about what transpired at the club between Portia and Candy. Um, but she was not too cool about hearing about the drugging part. Now, this is all hearsay. This is all alleged. Um, Portia is, is, is rehashing conveying information that she got from a third party so you know i don't even know if i would have brought that out but there you go phaedra's at church talking about having a restoration party after her divorce um 
what is going on with uh, Phaedra's face? Like, did you see all along here? Is she doing like serious Botoxing? Cause I'm swear it was like it was like varicose veins. Varicose. I mean, I'm older than her, so I don't know. But there was like varicose veins going on. Did anyone else notice that? I was afraid. I didn't know what was gonna jump out. It was it was weird. There's just huge things coming out. Okay, so now we're at the OLG restaurant. Things are coming along. Todd isn't looking so stinky, but he's putting in, you know, um, good elbow grease, which is good because if and when, if they ever have to divorce, he can say he, he didn't put some sweat equity into that restaurant. So good on you, Todd. I'm hoping that the marriage lasts, but if it doesn't, Todd is using some good insurance and it's all on film that he's been burning the midnight oil and he's got some sweat equity into the restaurant. So that's, that's good. So, uh, that's when he poses about a Hawaii trip, a getaway, go to Maui, love Maui. I spent my 10th wedding anniversary in Maui, highly recommend it. And so everyone's invited. So, um, I thought it was cute. Kenya's out with her brother and her two nieces and nephew. And it was like, she was just so, so in her element with family. And I'm really, you know, you know, this is the Kenya I like, you know. So her brother Ronnie is asking her, you know, how long are you going to wait for someone to mature? Do you think you have that kind of time? And then she says, you know, I either have to decide if I want the drama or if I want a family. So she's like, I want a family. Good on you. Let's pick a good, healthy, well-rounded, fully matured male that can do all those things. Let's work on that, Kenya. Okay, so uh, Cynthia, Phaedra, and Candy meet for lunch to discuss Maui. Um, everyone's invited. Uh, Peter and Sweaty Bob is also invited. And uh, there was a quick little thing about uh, Sweaty Bob and Sheree at the gym. And I'm like, this is the only time where it's acceptable to be Sweaty Bob at the gym. That's the only time. It's okay. Uh, Phaedra is saying that she'll only go if Portia goes. Candy is like, whatever. But that's the only way she's going to go. So now I noticed this during The Apprentice that Portia's butt is huge. Which, you know, in Atlanta, they like them like that. But what she was wearing at the spa, wow. That was a whole lot. That was a whole lot. That was a whole lot. Um, so Phaedra is trying to sweeten the whole thing about letting her know that we're all invited to Maui. And I thought it was funny. So um, she was saying that everyone's invited. So we've got, um, you know, the the four, the four, the fabulous four. We have Teapot, who's Candy, Flip Flop, which is Cynthia. And put it in the comments because I wasn't sure who was who. Um, if the instigator is Kenya and Messi is Sheree or vice versa. I think it's interchangeable. It's like... Neptune and Pluto, you know, it, like every once in a while they switch. So she decides she's going to go. So, um, uh, Portia, I just want you to know that, um, Hawaii is not outside the country. You don't need a passport to go to Hawaii vaccinations or anything like that. It's not out of the country. Just want you to know. Okay, so Cynthia and Peter meet at the airport. You know, Peter looked good. Did you, There was this one part where Cynthia was meeting him. He's already there. He's got his black shirt and his black leather, you know, jacket's got a nice texture to it. He had on white jeans and he was doing a profile with his glasses on. I was like, all right, Peter. Peter, you looking, you're looking good. You're looking real good. So, you know, uh, with all these, I don't know what was last year. You remember when, um, when Nini and Cynthia and Margo was there at the one, uh, trip and you had, uh, Candy and Phaedra and Portia and it was the talls and the smalls. So now it's team good vibes 
and team Frick and Fraud. I don't know what it was last year. I'm sure there was a, a name, but I don't remember it. And they're at the Four Seasons in Maui, which is very nice. And uh, Portia and Phaedra travels with Todd. And, um, you know, I noticed just back, Todd should no longer button up his um, polo shirts because he was wearing that peach color polo shirt. And it was the first time I really recognized that he does have a big head and a little body. It looked disproportionate. It was crazy. Don't button up that collar. That didn't look good. It didn't look good. I was like, man, he does have a big head and a small body. And I don't like picking on people's parts, but I did notice it. Okay, so we're back on to the dinner party where all things go wrong. And uh, after some quick, small, small talk, there's silence. And then the bone collector or the instigator, whoever you want to call Sheree, says, you know, let's just put it all out on the table and then we can enjoy the rest of this trip. Well, Portia says she's not lying. lying. Candy says she's lying. Um, she says the big accusation. Peter's busy covering his hands like, oh, it's about to go down. He was like this. It's about to go down. And Portia's like, well, if you don't want me to say anything about what your business, then you should be talking about my business. And I'm thinking, okay, your business and what is being alleged about Candy's business is of two different islands. It just, they, they, they it's just not jiving. And I can, I'm okay with the idea that you kind of want to stick it to her because you feel like you got outed in some way. But I'm with Sheree. This isn't like surface shade. This is like libel shade. This is like you need to keep your mouth shut or this is going to be entered into evidence in uh, litigation. Like this is litigious shade. This is, this is bad. And even Candy says, I will sue you. And she's like, well, I'm not lying. And so... Uh, I was with Kenya. She was like, can we get Mari so we can do a lie detector test on Portia? Because we don't know what's going on. And so Candy did what she was prepared. She showed some receipts and she handed out, she was handing out stuff like deck of cards, of uh, printouts to, and then Portia's like, I might have said that. Yeah, I guess, you know. So it's like, who, who do you believe? And, um... Candy and Portia went back and forth, and she was just like, I was, I'm, I'm about ready to choke her. I'm about ready to choke her. Now, what's really interesting is what's going to happen next week, because there's supposed to be this restoration. I didn't see restoration. I saw Armageddon, but I didn't see any restoration. Anyway, so it looks as though uh, Phaedra and Candy are having their little clash. Kenya and Sheree are having their little clash. And then it's looking like something's going down between Bob and Sheree. Like this was supposed to be a test if they were gonna go to the next level. But I hope what I saw on the editing was just some um, editing magic to get you reeled in because this, accusation of domestic violence that ain't a good light that's not a good light at all so that's all i have i wish i could have made more out of it but i i couldn't it, eh, eh, eh. that's how i feel about the episode so let me know what you think if i missed anything let me know i don't think i did take care of yourself and each other and i will talk to you Ooh, i'll talk to you on tuesday because tuesday is my birthday so i gotta come on camera so i'll talk to you then Bye.